Shalom, I came with your brother, Raza Allah from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Mokstone, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. I'm sure brothers is aware of the situation over there in America is right now, the two different mass shootings that happened in the last 24 hours, man. This is beautiful, man. The shine of the judgment of the Lord has been poured out. And it's going to keep pouring out, man, until America is destroyed, aka Babylon the Great. Because the scripture says, it says with Zephaniah 3 and 5, or Zechariah 3 and 5, the Lord bringeth his judgment to light every day. And um, the wicked perceive if it not, man, roughly paraphrasing. And, um, the, you know, <laughs> we're in a time, man, it's this time of our civil unrest, race riots, mass shootings, and all that. It's going to get, it's going to increase, man. It's going to intensify, man, to the point where. You know, they're going to have to call in these stormtrooper troops, trooper troops, <laughs> and um, push martial law, then ultimately, you know, make the chip, which is the mark of the beast, mandatory, and put, um, you know, force people to take that on a mass scale, man, worldwide, man. So we're in that time, man. This is this is the end of Esau's kingdom, man. Esau ain't got too much time left. That's why, it's, you know, things are getting more spicy or things are spicing up. Because these devils know they ain't got a lot of time left. And that's why you've got two mass shootings in the last 24 hours. That's never been recorded or never been reported on in the history of um, in the Americas, man. You know, not to my knowledge. You know, so it says Dayton, Ohio shooting, nine dead in second U.S. mass sh killing in 24 hours. This incident comes hours after at least 20 people died in another mass shooting in El Paso, Texas. And that was a bunch of, <coughs> that was down there in, middle of the, in Mexico and all that. El Paso. So a bunch of jakes got shot up in the local store more, more than likely, you know, by an Edomite because he said um, he hates he hates Hispanics and he hates the immigration situation that's going on over there in the Americas, you know. Even though they, 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 they got rights to that land, you know, the Mexicans and all that, to come over the border into the Americas because it's their own land that they're, they're basically trying to travel through, you know. But Esau's calling them illegal aliens in their own land, which he came over to the Americas and, you know, and conquered, basically, man. You know, took over, ran into the ground, turned into a concrete jungle. I'm talking about the Americas, man, North, South and Central Americas. And um, then he's got the, the nerve to call the, you know, the indigenous people of that land, going back to the natives and the Latinos, the Hispanic tribes of the Northern Kingdom of Israel. So he's got this. He's got the nerve, the cheek to call them illegal aliens in their own land. Now he's got these Edomites going out there, blasting them, Jake to smithereens. But that's all purpose of the Lord, man. Because that's fulfilling prophecy. Because two thirds, they're stuck in their ways, man. They don't. They ain't. They ain't like the scripture said that they, they refuse to return, man. You know, in the book of Jeremiah. So they're stuck in their ways, thinking that the American dream is the way of life. And you've seen what the American dream can get you, death, man. Don't forget, America is the valley of the shadow of death, man. Apostles always go into that, Psalms 23. So death is always lurking on the corners, man. And um, those jakes over there got us, got us, got a taste of that death by way of who? Esau, man. The, 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 the harbinger of death, you know. The master of disaster, man. And um, he, Esau's showing his hate for you, jakes, man. And time and time again, the prophets of the Lord are telling you, man, these Edomites are not your friends, man. Jacob and Esau... Which represent Jacob represents the twelve tribes of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And Esau represents the so-called white men today. You've been enemies from the womb, man. And the prophet, the men of the law, from the apostles and elders on down, of Great Most on, uh, have been telling you this, man, for the longest, man. That Esau is going to show his true horns for you, niggas, man. He's going to show how much he really, he really despises and hates you, man. And even in the book of Genesis, it says that the, the Eve's the serpent seed. There'll be contra controversy, roughly paraphrasing, between Eve's seed and the serpent's seed, man. And that represents who? Jacob and Esau today. See, that perpetual hatred, man. But you niggas are still lollygagging, man. But what does the scripture say? Shall we then make mirth? You know, a sword has been sharpened by way of, and it's been given into the hand of the slayer, who re represents who? Esau, the sober white man. Because the sword is his blessing, and the modern day sword is the cunt. And he's, showing you, he, and he's showing you what time it is, man. You niggas are still sleeping, man. So that's why you got caught lacking while he was in that riotous behaviour and all that as well over there. And they told that, oh, hi, I'm sure there's a bunch of jigs that got shot and killed over there as well. You know?
you know, that was in that mouth type spirit, partying and bullshitting, man. We ain't, in this, we ain't in the time of partying and bullshit. We're in the time of serious judgment, man. You know, and in the time of judgment, there's no mercy. It says nine people have been killed and at least 16 injured in the shooting earlier in Dayton and Ohio. Police have said, the police have said that the suspect was shot and killed by responding officers. Uh, jump down, it says the shooting came hours of after at least 20 people were killed in another mass shooting in Walmart. At Walmart in El Paso, you know, Jake, you're up in that Walmart, man. You know, a bunch of consumerism, man. That's what Jake is, man, in America, man. They love that consumerism, man, non stop. And they got their asses shut the fuck up in that Walmart, man, by none other than who he saw the so called white man, man. You know. And it's gonna keep happening, man. It's not gonna stop. This is what Jake's not gonna. This Jake doesn't realize, man. The time of Jacob's trouble was at hand. Sedition amongst men, with swords in their hands. You know, that's what the scripture says. So it's gonna go down, man. See, you know, two thirds gonna have to, you know, you know, they're gonna be roused up in the spirit, like it says in the book of Genesis. Who shall rouse them up? Well, the Lord's gonna rouse you up, man, to fight back, man. But for now, you, you're gonna be taking, you're gonna be getting more arse whoopings. Until, until all hell breaks loose, man. Because, you, you know, you lack understanding, man. And you lack the reason why you was brought over to the Americas in the first place, man. You weren't brought over to the Americas to party and bullshit, to have fun. You was brought over to the Americas as a punishment, as a judgment from the Heavenly Father for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments, man. And then you, you're going to have to learn that. You're going to have to learn that the hard way, once again, you know, and be reborn in the kingdom as newborn babes. And that's when you're going to be able to get your revenge on these Edomites and these other nations, man, when you're in your right mind. But as for now, you know, casualties of war, as brothers will say. Anyway, I'm going to jump to the scriptures, one or two scriptures, and then close out. I mean, it's too long. But yeah, man, it, as I said, man, perpetual hatred, man. Man, it's, not, it's never going to die down. It, Jacob and Esau are enemies from the womb, from the womb to the tomb. It's in Ezekiel 35 and 5, it says, because thou has had perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel that was by Esau the hands of Esau man so for white people to even to this day to this day you know this is because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the, the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword yeah, the modern day sword the gun this is in the time of their calamity in the time that their iniquity had an, had an end so therefore as I have said I have, as I live saith the Lord Yahweh I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And that's what's going to happen. Esau is going to have to um, basically, um, um, you know, reap what you've sown, man, which is wickedness upon the earth. And all the bloodshed that you shed on this earth, especially as children of Israel, he's going to he's gonna have to pay that up by way of blood himself. And then Jake's going to get in the arse once and for all, man. He says, Short, shortly, it's surely... Shortly but surely, the Lord's going to let Jake get in the arsenal as it's held in Ezekiel 28, um, what is it, 28th chapter? Or is it 20, sorry, it's the 25th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, the 12th verse and down. The Lord's going to let Esau get, get his, ha his arse get handed to him by the children of Israel, man. You know, and um, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful to behold because Esau's going to be paid back. You know, the, the, the wickedness that he's um, bestowed on the children of Israel. And you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Just dudes, man. Surely, surely, it's the righteous thing on the most side to recompense tribulations unto them that have troubled you. So it's going to, Esau's going to get paid back, man. He, he's, he's not going to escape. But for now, he's got a hand, he's got an upper hand on you, Jakes. And he's going to keep putting you down until you, to rouse up, you know. And it's the Lord that's going to rouse you up to fight back. Take these devils down, man. It's Ezekiel 21. And I'll start from 9. It's the Son of Man prophesied, say, Thus saith the Lord, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished, so that it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter, so that it is furbished that it may glitter. It is furbished that it may glitter. So that, that slaughter's coming, man. By the way, these mass shootings, more anarchy, race riots, sedition amongst men. When all hell breaks loose, man, Jacob's trouble, which you're in the, you're in the spurts of it right now, man. Because they're saying that, that that shooting in El Paso was basically a hate crime. Because Esau basically showing his hate in a manifesto for Jake, man. You're Hispanics, northern tribes, saying that he hates Hispanics and hates immigrants, man. 
you know, when he's really the illegal alien that came over to the land of the Americas and stole their, their whole habitation, man, and their heritage. Should, should we then make math? Yeah, that goes for them niggas that was over there in uh, Dayton, Ohio, partying and bullshit, man. You was in the spirit of math, them. And the sword has been sharpened for your asses, man. And you got that sword, man. Nine of you are dead, and the rest of you is 16 are injured or whatever, man. Could be even more. So they can tell me for the rod of my son as every tree. So now he have given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. So this sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. And he was the slayer today, man. He saw, man. The sword is his blessing. And he's the sword of the most side, the left hand side, man. And he's using him to punish the, you know, to thirds you right now. That's the, the still in that lollygagging, Murphton type spirit. So we're in the time of mirth, man. We're in the time of dead seriousness, man. Waking up, repenting, man. Coming back to the Heavenly Father by way of His Son. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Before it's too late. You know, scripture says, Seek the Lord while He may be found, man. You know, <laughs> the days are coming where the doors of mercy are going to be shut. And you ain't going to be able to find the Lord uh, on, on, find the Lord no more by way of the Heavenly, uh, by way of the men that He set up, the, the apostles and elders of the great most on and down. Why? Because the internet's going to get shut off, man. That world wide web, you know, it's going to be restricted like they've been doing already, man. Shutting brothers' videos down, shutting channels down, and all that, man. They're going to restrict it more and more to the point where you ain't going to be able to see the videos, see the men of the Lord on the, on the, um, on the highways and byways and the live streams and all that no more. Or we'll get the lessons, man, because it's going to be cut off, man. It's going to be restricted by the governments, man. This is verse 12, it says, crying how. Son of man, and that's the family of the word, it's like, yeah, it says, and the crying howl of the son of man, for, for it shall be upon my people, it says, it shall be upon all the princes of Israel, terrors by reason of the sword, yeah, terrors, this is one of those terrors, man, mass shootings, by the enemy, man, Esau, man, you know, your, your arched enemy, man, you know, whether you like it or not, man, you, you niggas are going to realize that Esau is your arched enemy, man, from the womb to the tomb, baby. Just terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people, smite therefore upon thy fight. And this was a prophecy, man, that Ezekiel got and he, and he inscribed down. And it's happening to this day, it's happening right now, before our eyes, man. It's going to get worse. Because Esau's going to command them troops to come out at the gates, man. Them storm troopers, Jeremiah 30 and 7, and it's going to get haywire out here, man. It's going to get even more chaotic. The scriptures said that, they, 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 you know, they're going to be as madmen, man, sparing none. So you Jake's are playing games, man. You're gonna you're gonna get what you're looking for, man. That spirit of death that you're always in, you know, that spirit of that American dream that it's gonna turn into a nightmare, man. You're gonna get what you're looking for, which is death and destruction, man. Because that's what you that's the way the ways that you're following. Scripture says that he that lead um, don't follow the commandments, roughly paraphrasing, going to the way of the congregation of the dead. That that shall remain in the congregation of the dead, and that's the spirit of two thirds of Jake. So you're gonna get death, man. Because that's what you're looking for. That's what you worship, man. But anyway, I want to close out. Give all praise and glory to you. How about Shemiah Shai? Until next time, I'll say Shalom.